Welcome to Scrabble TV. Welcome to generic news, guys. My mom was a little bit late getting me here, so I'm really sorry. But I brought some soda pop for everyone to drink. It has begun. A giant space rock has breached Earth's atmosphere. The rock, which streaked over the city of... Ch Seriously? Kaibinskaya. Located in central Russia last Friday, exploded over a frozen tundra which yielded a force of 30 nuclear bombs. The meteor shockwave blew out the windows of nearly 5,000 buildings and left 40 people, including three children, recovering in a hospital. Yes, sir. Space Rock 2012 DA-14 measures 160 feet across, weighing in at a whopping 190,000 metric tons, passed by Earth on Friday evening, just 17,000 miles above our heads, closer to the Earth than the satellite that brought you the Super Bowl. NASA's response to this event is ATLAS, Asteroid Terrestrial Impact Last Alert System. Two observatories in Hawaii will work simultaneously to scan the entire visible sky twice a day. This new system will allow one week warning for a 50 yard diameter asteroid or city killer and three weeks for a 150 yard diameter county killer. Funding is being provided by NASA's Near Earth Observation Program in the sum of $5 million over the next five years. Atlas incorporates eight small telescopes, each outfitted with a 100 megapixel camera, which amounts to the size of an average garbage can. The system is to be fully operational by the end of 2015. Now the real question is, will Atlas be able to ward off the eventual bug invasion from Clendathu? Join the mobile infantry and save the world. Service guarantees citizenship. And remember, the only good bug is a dead bug. Do your part. Offer not valid in Pennsylvania and New Jersey. Remember in Minority Report with the whole pre-crime division? Well, this Brooklyn artist is doing her part. Heather Dewey Hagboard's project, Stranger Visions, utilizes simple genetic information found around New York City. Through a unique process, Hagborg is able to reconstruct the face of any person using DNA she extracts from wads of hair, chewing gum, cigarette butts, and condoms. All right, I made that up. To figure out the right maternal ethnicity, hair color, and gender before designing a matching 3D face with a custom software. The software is designed to create various possibilities of facial features, and Hagborg uses her judgment to create the most aesthetically appealing versions of the DNA owner. Unlike Minority Report, the technology just isn't quite there yet. Because the DNA information can only reveal certain features but not exact shapes, the software will not accurately depict the correct face of the owner. But who knows what the future will hold? Heather is planning on adding other genetic features, such as obesity or freckling, so that the porches will be even more lifelike. Who has the upper hand now, computers? Ones and zeros got nothing on our DNA coding. But hey, here's to being controlled by a bunch of hot sixes in the future. Game creator Bungie, which made a name for itself by creating the Halo series, is back to their old tricks this week, as they announced the game title, Destiny! Destiny! Bungie has revealed early details about Destiny. Let's just say there's a little-known artist who goes by the title Sir Paul McCartney, working with the audio director, Michael O'Donnell, to create Destiny's soundscape. O'Donnell played a few of the pieces recorded at Abbey Road Studio in London with a 106-piece orchestra and a choir of more than 40 singers. So, what is Destiny? Some describe it as an online first-person shooter, but Bungie does not see it that way. It's an online game, yes, but unlike WoW or Minecraft, Destiny will not require a subscription. Bungie has coined a new term, SWS, Shared World Shooter. It's a science fiction game set after most of the human population has been wiped out by a cataclysm due to something hitting us. No one knows exactly what, but we do know this. Very few of us survived. And those who did owe their lives to the Traveler. You will be able to play it as a single player game, but an internet connection will be required to enter the world of Destiny, and both multiplayer and social aspects are going to play a big role. Players will be able to travel from planet to planet within our own solar system, team up with other friendly players, and carry out raids on different planets. Over the course of your adventures, your character will be able to become more powerful and able to wield rare and exotic weapons, gears, and powers. 
As the world grows and expands over time, so does the story, the destinations you can access, the activities you experience, and rewards you can earn. Unlike Halo, you will be able to choose from three character classes, Hunter, Titan, and Warlock. Bungie has confirmed the game is coming to both the Xbox 360 and PlayStation 3, but also hinted at an Xbox 720 and PlayStation 4 version. There is also mention of a mobile app which will add another level to your gaming experience. Bungie is predicting a 10-year life cycle over which the story will be revealed using 10 books. To that end, Bungie understandably has about 350 people working on this game. This is Fallon Joslin. I would never do this and speak Klingon, ever. Just for the record. <laughs>